This is a quick tutorial to show you how to download and install the MyLoJace Control Center, how to add Wi-Fi networks to your MyLoJace device, and then learn what the lights on the MyLoJace mean and how to determine if your device is uploading correctly. So the first thing we do when we're on this page to download the MyLoJace Control Center, obviously is we click Download for Windows. If you're on a Mac, you can click that as well. So we simply click Download for Windows and we'll be asked if we want to run the MyLoJace installer.exe. Simply sit, hit yes and you're good to go. It's going to install for you. Um, if you're on Chrome or Firefox or a different browser, the uh, interface will look a little bit different, but it's all the same. Just hit run and let it do its magic and it will ask you to reboot your computer. And once you've installed and rebooted, what you will see is you'll see an application on your desktop called the MyloJace. And we can double click this just to run it. We'll be asked if we want to give the computer user account control. Simply say yes. And there you go. The application pops right up and it connects to your MyloJace device. You'll know it's connected by seeing the ID show up here. Otherwise, it'll say no ID, no device found or no ID. Um, and then it'll also tell you add up to 10 networks for your MyloJace to use. So you can add up to 10 networks into this list. Right now, this computer has nothing added. And what you'll see is over here, you'll have a drop down box. And this is going to show you all the networks that your computer knows how to connect to. So you might have a big list here. You might have a whole bunch of networks you've connected to. You just want to find the networks in the list that you want the MyloJace to connect to. Now, if you haven't ever connected to the network, you can type it in here. You can just type it in. This field is editable, but this is something I really want to iterate because it is so important. This field, both the name, the SSID, and the password have to be exactly perfect as to what your router says or else you will not connect. So for example, if I change that, just that one letter to a lowercase a, the MyloJace will never connect to this network. And you can pull your hair out trying to figure out why it will not connect to your network. So let me reiterate one last time, please use this drop down box. And if you have never connected to your network before using Wi-Fi, do it. Just go down here, click on this list, if you're in Windows 7, it'll have a different look of looking list, but just connect up to your network. So for example, if that's your network, hit connect, connect up to it, make sure your computer knows the Wi-Fi password, connects to it properly, and then all you have to do is you will close the MyloJace Control Center, reopen it, click yes, and your new network will show up in this list and you just click on it. And the reason we do that is because networks can be extremely complicated. For example, here's one that has complicated uppercase, lowercase spelling, it's got numbers, it's got all this stuff. Sometimes you don't know if that's an L or an I. I mean, it's crazy. Passwords can be up to 64 characters. They can have numbers and everything else. Yours might be simple, but I'm telling you, use this drop-down list. It will make your life so much easier. So all we have to do is simply add these networks to the device. You just click on the network, click add. We're going to do that on all of these. And this is a hotspot. This is actually a phone hotspot. And you can add phone hotspots on here as well. And in a different tutorial, we'll show you how to use your phone's hotspot because they can actually be a little finicky, a little hard to use. But right now, we've got all the networks added. If you want to remove one, obviously, you just click remove selected network. But that's all we want. So now we have our three networks added. We didn't have to type anything in. We know they're, they're added right because we use the information that Windows provided us where Windows knows how to connect to these. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the MyloJace device itself and how to know whether or not your device is uploading trips. So here is our MyloJace and once you plug it in, what you'll see right off the bat is that this light is red and this is the GPS mode light. And if you press it once, it turns blue and that means it's in business mode and it will flash blue to red and then when it gets a GPS lock it will flash blue to green. So blue means it's in business mode and your trip is guaranteed to be recorded as a business trip. I'm going to press it one more time just to set us back to our standard look and we're going to notice that since it's plugged into USB, you see the USB we have a USB cable plugged into it, the green light is on its power. But this middle light is not on and this middle light is our Wi-Fi status light and it's not going to be on 99% of the time. It only turns on when we, when the device first gets power or right after it loses power. So right now this device has about three trips on it and this is one thing I want to really iterate 
If you have not logged any miles with your device, you cannot test whether it can connect to your network. It will never connect if there's no data to upload. So be sure you go and get a couple trips on it before you can really test whether it's going to upload. But the way it works is right now it's connected to power. So if I, for example, when I disconnect it, let's keep a look on that middle light. You see how it turns orange? And then it's just going to shut off. And then this one will also shut off. Now when, it, when this middle one just goes orange and then shuts off the way we just saw, it means it did not connect to any network. It did not upload your trips. So let's look at it one more time when I plug it in. And we're going to see the same thing from, the, from that middle light. It's going to turn orange. It takes a few seconds when it turns on. There we go. It turns orange. And then it's just going to shut off again. And the reason why it's doing this is because with this device, I have not properly added the network information to it. But if you hang tight, I'm just going to add the network info real quick. And then we'll see what a successful upload looks like. So I've now added our network information to the device and everything is correct. I'm going to disconnect the USB power and let's take a look at this middle light this time. So it's orange. Orange means it is searching for your Wi-Fi network. That's what orange means. So it's still searching. It's trying to connect and this can sometimes take 20, 30 seconds. So hang tight and just keep watching it. And then, but once it connects, it'll turn blue, which means it's uploading trips. So when this middle light turns blue, from orange means it is uploading your trips and then it will turn green to show you that it did it successfully. There we go, blue and then green. Did you see it turn blue really fast? That's because it doesn't have much data on it. Normally it will take a little bit longer and now it turns off and this is exactly how your mileage ace works. We saw it turn blue which means it successfully connected to your Wi-Fi network and then green meant it successfully uploaded the trips, okay?